Hey what is up everybody my name is Rahul and in this video we'll be looking at a challenge called cat cafe now it was a part of the web category in the Kera CTF competition now there is a specific reason why I wanted to showcase this challenge and it is because of the attachment uh, that they've provided now code reviews are quite an important part when you come in the cybersecurity industry and in this video what I'm trying to showcase is from a new perspective what you can try to do to f to hunt for bugs so we have the URL link right here and we have an attachment which I already have downloaded so okay this is not the yeah this is here we go so we have a flag.txt file this is a docker file which means that it is running inside a docker container and we have the templates so there are a bunch of different methodologies that people follow so what I typically start with is the route file so here as you can see there is flask so with flask that something that automatically comes to mind is template injection but here you don't have an avenue for that so what I'm trying to do here is to to look for any vulnerabilities that might get me the flag so the next thing that you can try to attempt is to see if there are any sensitive information or any comments that might help you get a vulnerability to exploit so since this is a simple web app challenge what we'll be doing is we'll be going line by line and focusing on the routes so here you have the slash route and it'll just give you the index.html file which will typically be in the templates directory and as you can see this is the file and here we have it so this is the template sorry this is the index.html file that is being rendered nothing sensitive no comments as such let's get back again to the app.py file so here you have a route called slash image so let's just see you have the slash image route and it is expecting something right so the requested URL not found on the server cool so here you can see that you have an image route and there's a function called serve image it expects a parameter as you can see from the args and it is a get parameter with the name of f and let's just say f and it what it does is it is preventing directory traversal using dot dot slash cool we'll be looking at this later and how you can bypass filters and if after it has replaced any dot dot slashes in the URI or in the parameter it'll what it'll do is it'll just append your file name or the or whatever you had entered or passed to the f parameter and it will serve from the images directory and as you can see right here so let's just try to bypass this but before that let me just show it to you how this typically works so here as you can see dot replace what we are trying to do here is trying to make it as realistic as possible here you can see I have copied it again and as you can see what will happen if you try to replace these both with uh, if you try if you have this as an argument and if you have this in the in the first parameter and this in the second it will replace both of these but there are ways in which you can bypass filters so for instance we know that this is going to be bypassed so what we can try to do here is we can append one dot and one dot slash at the end so we know that this will get replaced but because of us forward because of a dot and a dot a slash here we'll have this back again so let's just give it a try one dot two dot slash because this will get replaced and dot slash flag dot text and as you can see we have the trick we have the flag right here so thank you guys this is it for the video